This next exercise is an example of mesh relaxation. In this process, the mesh tries to minimize the surface area by spreading itself evenly between a given set of fixed points or boundary conditions. It is similar to a liquid soap film trying to achieve a minimal surface within given edge conditions. Let's start with a simple, low-poly 3D mesh like this one. It is drawn in Rhino referenced into Grasshopper. Be careful while constructing the mesh. The edges and vertices must coincide without any unwanted gap. You may open the Grasshopper file provided in the resource folder to follow along. After referencing the mesh into Grasshopper, we must ensure that the mesh is joined, welded, and all the normals are aligned. Use mesh join, mesh weld vertices and mesh unify normals to get a single unified mesh. As an optional step, Use the kangaroo naked vertices component to check if all internal vertices are welded. This component separates naked and internal vertices into two lists. Check the list of naked points only, and see if there are any internal vertices highlighted as naked points. If yes, then the welding has failed. If no, then the mesh welding is successful. This low poly mesh needs to be subdivided to get a smooth mesh upon relaxation. Usually, we would use Catmull Clark subdivision method to get a high poly quad mesh. But that will smoothen the mesh. To subdivide the mesh without altering the naked edges or seams, we can use the refine function in Kangaroo library. It functions the same way as the Catmull Clark subdivision, without smoothening the geometry. This refined mesh serves as the base input mesh for Kangaroo simulation. The first goal to be assigned for mesh relaxation is the edge length goal. Set the length factor to a value between 0 and 1 to minimize the surface area of mesh during simulation. We will set it to 0 0.5. The next goal is the show component that is required to visualize the simulated mesh geometry. The next step is to identify the fixed boundary conditions for mesh relaxation. This is a critical step that will govern the final form of the output mesh. By using anchor goal, we can guide certain mesh edges to fixate at specific target points. This exercise will anchor the naked points to a circular geometry by identifying appropriate target points. Start by isolating the naked edges, using Mesh Edges component. Take 
we get a list of 192 naked edges, distributed between six boundary squares. Use join curves to join all connected curves into polylines. Explode these polylines and we get naked vertices grouped in six branches, representing the six naked boundaries. Since these point groups are derived from exploding closed polyline curves, the first and last points of each group are the same. To remove point duplication, use Kangaroo Remove Duplicate Point Component. This results in a list of points with six branches, with 32 points in each branch. Use the average component to find the average point for each branch. This will give the center point of each boundary. Use this center point to create the target circle for each group of naked points. For this, we will also require the plane for each circle. Use the plane fit component to identify planes corresponding to each group of points. Use the plane and the average point to create the appropriate center planes for the circle. Use the circle command to draw the circle in Rhino viewport. The six resulting circles are the target curves for naked boundaries. The next step is to identify the closest point on these circles from the group of naked points. Use the curve closest point component, where the target circles are the curves, and the group of naked points are the input for points. This component will find the closest point on the respective circle, which is also the target point. Bring the anchor point goal onto the canvas. Connect point groups to point input, and curve closest point to target input. Ensure both lists have the same data structure, that is, six branches with 32 items in each. Simplify the inputs to clean the tree of any unnecessary branches. An optional step to visualize the target movement of the points is to draw a line between them. This step helps in debugging if the kangaroo solver result is not as predicted. Merge all goals, with the show goal right at the top, and connect it to the bouncy solver.
reset, and enable the solver. Use the list item to isolate the first item from the output list. Notice how the naked edges of the mesh have snapped to the target location, while the mesh tries to settle into a minimal surface between the target boundary. This is mesh relaxation in Kangaroo. Try to recreate this definition from scratch, and vary the parameters like the length factor of the edge length goal, or vary the radius of the target circle. You may try a list of six different radii to vary the target size of each boundary condition. Remember to graph the radius input if you use six different radii. In the next chapter, we will learn to simulate a simple vaulted geometry using the mesh relaxation and load forces.